This call is now being recorded. So very good morning, one and all. So this is Dr. Raj Dagrasu and my co-authors, A. Aishu Taudari, Binav Kundi, Maha Bahaur Rehra. So they are all, uh, so they are all uh, corporate people, system engineer, developers, developers and data engineers. Data engineers. I am Mas Associate Professor, Professor Jodhis Malinska Technology, Technology and, Science, and Science, Computer Science and Engineering Department. Department. I am going to present going a, to paper. a paper, Identification, Identification of Growth Rate Multiple Sources Using Modern Gaussian Approach. Using Modern Gaussian Approach. So this paper, paper which is mainly is focusing, on focusing on how to avoid, avoid traffic violation. violation. Example nowadays, so nowadays it is a most is a challenging, challenging issue, how this users are Violating the violating traffic, the traffic and, and there is a chance, is a chance of getting more amount of uneven, uneven occurrence, like a error is performed. So with this algorithm, algorithm is, going is going to fix the problems, the problems which are all the which frequently, frequently occurring problems, problem, 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 and how it is how going it is to prevent going earlier, earlier, and what and type what of type of and what type of information we are providing. So that's the main motto of this particular. Paper we present it. So in this paper, so paper my motto is, is prediction of road traffic from multiple, multiple sources, sources using Gaussian, Gaussian approach, is approach is most important, important in intelligent transport system. system. In the existing system, system which is focused on a particular, particular uh, algorithm, algorithm, algorithm non-intrusive, non non sensor based, they are very expensive. So if you are installing or if you are using such method, it will take most cost effective. So that's the reason that's we are reason going we are with the Gaussian, Gaussian approach. approach. The same, same principles with the Gaussian approach algorithm. algorithm. Two steps we are following. Are so sensors are directed to traffic conditions and image recognition and other related and information related also we are taking are for the consideration of sample samples. The main of these sensors are very essential to capture the data. And once the system has received the amount of data, it is going to sense and which are all the location of these parts are violated. To address this, this paper is to improve road traffic speed prediction by using speed sensor and social media sensor. This includes many challenges. For example, if you are telling the time low resolution, uh, related, to, related data, to data, so language, language, language uh, uh, traffic description in the text, text etc. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, to yeah, respond to these challenges, we provide a uniform modeling framework. framework. It is called PEGPAM. That's called a topic analysis approach modeling. modeling. It consists of three components: components location, location disaggregation model, traffic topic model. And traffic speed Gaussian model. Traffic speed and Gaussian because model. some uh, basic uh, information which related to the existing survey, which related like uh, social survey. media and uh, car like tragedy. Social media and and the traffic car system, system is most the important, important is nowadays. The existing works are mainly focusing on very expensive, uh, like a sensor and component and other related equipment. So, if you are installing any location, there is a cost of using is more. So, our proposed system is going to overcome the issue. The cost of the uh, cost of uh, the component are the impressed. So image recognition to project. Project. And this social media, this, this is related to the website, website. Exactly. Facebook, Twitter. So people are exchanging the information by using the social media. Messages are sent messages about, are the sent traffic about the traffic. Yes, such in traffic road and uh, post and, uh, the post driver, the driver and the and the overall, overall uh, along with the vehicle and what kind of, what uh, kind of uh, the sensor is the going sensor to sense a particular vehicle. vehicle. So with the related to the ID, the ID is ID is reflected in the admin, then we can then easily we can find out the vehicle is violated and we can make further related to our office and the database data to the up the judicial custody also. Then car tragedy data, data, data is data data location in which the application is installed the particular phone. If I am if I am driving a vehicle, my phone is connected to the particular application like this Gaussian approach. It is used to map the location very easily. And we can take Uber, Ola, Caps, and Google, any kind of vehicles which is used to navigate the location. This makes the traveling easier and comfort. If the origin destination is example Odi, so we have a big Google identification location. Through GPS, GPS, we are identifying a particular vehicle along with the way who has violated the route. And the route will be mapped from source to destination. So with the time to time. So every minute, every minute, every minute we are checking uh, with the support of the sensing data. Then the sensor data will be 
aggregated according to that algorithm then the algorithm is going to define so the particular second or the particular duration how many number of traffic violation was happened then according to the algorithm how to prevent so that information also given example this particular architecture diagram the sensor is going to sense we are using speed sensor another we are using that trajectory sensor and tweet sensor so these three sensor is going to check or monitor, monitor a particular vehicle along the vehicle, 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 vehicle driver it's going to sense so the so first day is sensing 10 minutes, 10 minutes then 40 then 40, 40 kilometers per hour. per hour so after, after that, that we are having that kilometer radius radius 30 kilometer per hour 10 kilometer per hour, kilometer per hour, per hour. And 20 kilometers. So according to the various various local kilometer, the sensor is going to send exact moment whether the wireless is happening or not. And we have speed sensor collect the speed observation. Trajectory sensor indicates the trajectory speed which is to be predicted predicted or observed. The speed sensor which covers multiple roads that is to be noted. then what is then the what is the algorithm algorithm of the algorithm approach me this algorithm is the most both the model the model the model, model parameter uh, uh, variational variational the model the model parameter yes this model parameter sorry, sorry for the disruption so in this algorithm so we have we have Sorry for the interruption. So in this algorithm, estimation maximum is one word. This nothing but here we are following the steps. Step one, E steps. We maximize the lower bound with respect to the variational parameters, and Y steps. We maximize the bound with respect to the model parameters. So what is our link? What is our input means? Link to speed observation. So traffic related purpose, traveling time, link. is nothing but length between that uh, traffic sensor sensor location to the uh, vehicle then output may be the model parameter example estimation of gp priori initialization of the model parameter initialize the variation parameter calculate the initial lower bound then uh, it it is going to be repeat until we are getting the exact uh, violation necessary so it will be monitored so such steps is such steps is performing regularly this is what this estimation maximum maximum algorithm one the same algorithm we have that other extended learning process right learn the model parameters like length uh, length identification link speed observation at the time of traffic and related and we have a output called the how the procedures gaussian approach is getting that means predicted violation of the traffic vehicle or it may be the person so it is steps may be repeated until uh, error free or until traffic violation free it is going to be repeat the process and so in this paper we have a concept called the new potential framework for predicting road traffic uh, speed with multiple cross cutting data the existing work is based on the speed sensor so we are using such kind of sensor speed sensor traffic sensor and speed sensor so with this sensor we can able to uh, predict the violation in the traffic so it is like uh, we can avoid the data scarcity low coverage uh, and in our work main, uh, mainly focusing on to deal with uh, challenging resulting from the explosive multi source data including location uncertainty ambiguous and homogeneous heterogeneous data to be uh, segregated with the support of the speed speed gaussian process model So with this experience, we real data shows the effectiveness and efficiency of our model. So uh, we are also planning for extending this work into uh, implement kernel-based distribution public. 
so that the traffic prediction framework can be applied uh, in real time like a large scale uh, or large scale uh, i mean uh, many kilometers or many distance to be covered so that's ultimate aim of this particular uh, proposed uh, paper and uh, this paper we referred in literary journals recently here and old years also we gone through it some of the papers only are highlighted here so other papers are highlighted in that main paper so thank you sir and madam thank you for uh, giving opportunity thank you